Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Now today we're going to look at how to record and export good audio within Audition. Now the, when I say good audio, of course, that is completely subjective. What I mean is a well-rounded vocal audio for podcasts, radio presenting, tutorials, anything like that, really. And it's basically me based on a preset within Audition that I've modified a little bit for myself uh, because I tend to have these little nuances in my voice that cause me to clip quite often, things like that. So I've kind of played around with it and I think it'd be fun to share and hopefully you can learn something. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click waveform at the top and create a new audio file. I tend to stick with mono and 32 float. This means that uh, no matter how high I um, put the audio in um, production or post-production rather, uh, it doesn't clip. It kind of adjusts it automatically to not do so. As long as you don't clip when you're recording, that is. So we hit OK. And it gives us this empty thing here. So the key to creating good audio is recording good audio. Make sure you've got a decent microphone, make sure you're not clipping and make sure it's down low enough that you don't have any background sound because it's really, really difficult to save audio which is recorded badly. So here we go. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son and I'll keep on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. That'll do, won't it? So let's have a look at that. Okay. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son, and I'll keep on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. Wow, it's very rude if you mess that up, isn't it? Good thing I didn't. Okay, so we've got our audio. As you can see, it's relatively clean. There's nice large spikes, uh, relatively speaking, when I'm talking, and there's lo very little background interference when I'm not. Now, before you um, take a look at adding all the presets to make this up to the right levels and rounding out the bottom end and clipping the high and stuff like that, is you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's as clean as possible. So the first thing we wanna do is silence this bit at the beginning here. Okay. Don't need any of that. So you can hear me saying go, okay. and you can hear a little bit of mouth noise, which I hate, I like that. So what you wanna do is uh, make sure you're zoomed in enough to see what you're doing using the toolbar along at the top here. Grab the selection you wanna get rid of, and silence it by right clicking silence and there we go completely silences it now that's fine for large areas for example here and here yeah we can just silence those um but what it's not great for is these tiny little bits here things done so like all these little background things thing is that you're not really going to notice them um apart from in here and i'll keep on there's a little bit of rustle and i'll things like that you're not going to notice in a standard thing but me i tend to be a bit sort of uh I don't want to say OCD because it's so overused, but I tend to be a bit anal about that sort of thing. So let's let's fix it. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your effects panel, come over to, um, sorry, not filter, uh, noise reduction, and choose noise reduction, uh, adaptive noise reduction. And what this will do is um, on a preset over here, you can have heavy or light noise reduction. I just choose light, and that basically takes off some of the background noise. You can see if you play through. Sun, and I'll keep on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. Okay, and that basically cuts out oh, a little bit. A Stop that. Cuts out a little bit of the background noise. Some of that little bit of hiss, and you see apply. Doesn't actually do much. It just takes some of the low end out. So let's have a listen to this audio again. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son, and I'll keep on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. You can see there's a few pops there uh, in the peas. Uh, let's have a look at those. I've got a pop guard on, but it's kind of inevitable you're going to get them, especially in a 20 minute show, you know? Plucking's done. Plucking's done. So there we go. What you can actually do, if you want to sort that out, you can just see if you just lower that just a few decibels. Pheasant plucking's done. And pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. And then let's go back so you can see that. Pheasant plucking's And then redo. Pheasant plucking's done. See, so yeah, and that fixes it a little bit just by dropping it a few decibels. And you don't notice in regular speech patterns. So I'd say now that our audio is fairly prepared. Let's maybe silence this little section here. Sun, and I'll keep on. There we are. I'm being a bit more finickety than I would usually be. You'll probably notice that in this episode itself, ironically, there's a few times the mic pops and things like that. That's because it's easy to edit a six second clip than it is to edit a 20 minute episode or something. So uh, I'm just going a bit overboard here just to show you the concept. Maybe we'll take out that end bit there as well done there we are now i'm happy with that segment of audio so i'm going to kill off the silence that i don't need and then i'm going to come over to the panel here effects rack if you can't see that then you can go to window and you go to effects rack and you can see that here that i've set up a tip tut tutorials <laughs> that's difficult to say a tip tut tutorials uh preset already but this is actually just based off of the radio announcer voice preset so let's grab that 
And now if you see the preview our footage by hitting space, I'm a pheasant plucker's son and I'll keep on plucking pheasants to it's rounded out a lot more and it's brought it all the way up to negative three, which is a bit high for me. So what I intend to do instead is go over to the podcast voice. I'm a pheasant plucker's son and I'll keep on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. And this has added basically a whole bunch of effects which help to round out yeah, the sound of your voice a little bit. There's a hard limiter which basically limits it to negative three. There's a parametric equalizer which basically rounds off the high and low ends to make your sa voice sound a bit more present and a bit more universal. Uh, there's a volume leveler, which helps level out the speech volume, see all these little wobbles and spikes and inflections that I've got. It levels those out a little bit. Uh, and there's adaptive noise reduction in there as well. So let me just show you, uh, if we go inside hard limiter, for example, you can see here, you can limit to negative one, negative three, negative six. You can, if it's heavily distorted or whatever, that's one dead horse. Um, that's basically going way overboard. Um, and you can mess around with these until you find a sound that you like. If I pop over to my tip tut tutorials, you can see that I've changed my hard limiter to be negative six on the custom. So if we go here, pheasant pluck a sun, and I'll keep on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. That's because if I limit it to negative six, you can drag it up higher in Premiere Pro when you're editing uh, and you don't lose too much, but it makes it a bit easier to handle. Um, I've also messed around with the speech volume levelizer a bit. I bring the level down and I bring the I leave the leveling amount in the middle, but I bring the target dynamic range a bit down because I've got a lower voice, so this boosts the low signals. Um, so basically, you'd think that's it, it's applied, but it's not. What you actually have to do is come down here to apply and it'll process, and you can see now that it's leveled out my voice a lot. And if we listen to that again, I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son, and I'll keep on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son, and I'll keep on plucking pheasants till the pheasant plucking's done. Lovely. Now that's basically all I do to my voice in these tutorials. Um, what you can actually do is if you hear a bit of background noise, you can drag down a little bit. I'm not a pheasant plucker, I'm a pheasant plucker's son. There we go. Um, but that's it. That's basically the whole trick. You then have applied your file, you just go to File, Export, File, it will give you a bunch of um, presettings here. You can change them. It will probably be on uh, WAV for you. I tend to stick with MP3. Even though it crushes a bit, I find it works better, agrees a bit better with um, YouTube. So there we go. Um, that is it. Just hit OK and export that bugger. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, I'm sorry. If you did, great. Stick around. More like this to come. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.